really, obviously, what's happened down at, 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 in Townsville and, um, you know, the way our, our players have responded to that and, and the way they gelled together at the back end of the week. And I thought that was a pretty special performance. I thought defensively we were outstanding. Um, and just looking at Redcliffe after the game, they were pretty battered and bruised and the physicality of the game was quite high tonight and fortunately for us, we were, we were the team that got on top. So that's the one thing you look at at the end of the game, you look at that score when you see it kneel for them, that's the... Yeah, I do because we gave them enough ball as well. Unfortunately, they made a lot of errors as well, but in the conditions that was probably to be expected. And the only difference was we were making errors when we were creating opportunities, and that's that was probably the positive at half time. But I just felt like other than the first five minutes, probably of the first half, they barely got past the halfway line, and, and our defence was outstanding in the middle of the field and on the edges as well. We were, we were really strong right across the field. Um, like I said, I, I, I thought our togetherness and our, our you know, determination to, to work hard for each other was, was really good. And that was something that I questioned after the Ipswich game. So we've had two weeks. We've been smarting from that and we, we saw tonight what it means to the boys. And I guess the positive is you can win tough because you have a reputation of winning pretty, but you won tough tonight. Yeah, and that's something we spoke about after the Tweed game as well. We, we You know, the general conception of us is that we don't play those tough games. We, we like to throw the ball around and we, we can't grind wins out and... I think you saw tonight a very professional performance from a team that knows how to, to grind a game out. You know, from six nil up, we, we pretty much controlled the game, and in even the second half, you know, six nil for quite a while before we went out to twelve nil, and we still controlled everything. And right up until we, we took the drop goal, we showed composure, and um, you know, they, they, we made it really tough for them. But like I said, I can't credit the boys enough. Um, you know, I, I will give special mention to the six boys who've come down from from Cowboys this week because. There's not many people that would be able to do what they've done. And I think, you know, to, to lose someone who, you know, let's be honest, was announced dead on Monday and then to back it up five days later and put in a performance that they've put in is it speaks volumes for them as people and speaks volumes for what they want to do for our club. You know, so we're obviously really thankful for that, but also to our boys who supported them, you know, from the time they got here, you know, we put our arm around them and made sure that they, they felt they were welcome and then that we were there to look after them. And another player played really well, Ops tonight, and nobody wanted to win more than him. Yeah. There's a reason Obsty come here and why I wanted him to come here. And you've seen it now, you've seen you've seen it in every game actually. He's the ultimate competitor, Obsty. He wants to win every collision, every contest. He just hates to lose. Um, he's a cranky little man and sometimes that gets the better of him, but he's controlling it at the moment. He's playing at a really high level and um, you know, look, oh, I've said it before, he wouldn't be out of place in, a, in, in the Cowboys setup. I, uh, 100% I believe that. And, um, you saw tonight, even when he's been at seven, he's done a decent job, but his influence on our team at nine is, is incredible. In saying that, I thought Blake Leary's stint at nine was really good for us as well. And that allowed us to free Obsty up for 15 to 20 minutes and then bring him back on with some energy and he controlled the back end of the game really well. And for you, Ty, how proud are you your team to beat a team like Redcliffe 19-0? Uh, I'm extremely proud of the boys, actually. Um, just the whole attitude that we brought to, to the game tonight was outstanding. Um, we've spoken about in the off-season. If we want to win the comp, defence is going to win it for you. Um, to keep aside to, to, Zil, uh, to Zero and Redcliffe, it's a massive effort. And I agree with JD that the boys that come back from Townsville were, were outstanding. Um, a lot of them are a lot closer to, to the young fella. And, that attitude was spot on with, with what they did and I'm sure we'd be proud of, of the efforts as I'm proud of everyone else. And were you guys extra fired up given the fact you'd lost the week before the bye, like you had two weeks to stew about that? Yeah, the, it was actually was frustrating because we sat there in the video two Mondays ago and seeing how bad we were and then we had to wait two weeks to play a footy game. Um, boys were chomping a bit, so JD sort of tapered our schedule last week um, and I think the way that we trained, like we trained this morning as well and we were sharp, didn't drop a ball. I think it reflected on, on how we performed tonight. Um, comps won by defence and, and attitude, and we, we showed that tonight. So it's a very proud effort of the boys. And to get another game against Petro, to for him to play almost in your backyard, special as well? Oh, it's, it, I think it's not only for me, but the guys that have never played against someone like that, he's a guy that everyone looks up to. Um, he's a legend of the game. And to have young guys out there like Brent Usen playing against someone who probably idolised him, um, it's only going to be a growing experience for him. Um, he was outstanding tonight. He tried tried everything. Um, he's a great leader, and the thing he's done for Redcliffe is is outstanding. He's, he's given back to to football and the Trust Super Cup, so it's been great. So I think that's nine in a row now um, over Redcliffe, and you've maybe played quite a few of those victories. But 
Is there anything you can put your finger on that the boys just happen to lift the Dolphins or? No, not really. I don't think so. Um, defensively, I think we were just we were really good. Um, attacking, we're still a bit off. Um, we dropped plenty of pill, but um, we know that it's it's cutthroat at the at the top of the ladder. We're we're sitting at top, and we want to stay there, and we've got the right attitude for it. Our worth ethic um, off the field is outstanding. And I think um, for us to stay there, we've got to we've got to continue that. So every week we're going to be hunted now. Um, and we want to put in performances where we keep teams to nil. That's our goal. And the, uh, the call to go for the, uh, the two points early in the second half, was that come from the sideline or did you make that call out in the field? Really um, it's going to be a bit of a grind? Or? Yeah, it came, it came from the sideline, but I had in my head to take the two. Um, JD did speak about it at half time that um, if we win the game 6 0, that's good enough. That's two points. Um, and then when we went out second half, it was pouring down. Uh, it was uh, the smart option to, to do. Um, they'd had plenty of ball down our end as well, so. Um, composed ourselves and uh, took two and then we had enough position where we, we sort of kept in the, the balance and sort of strangled them out of the game towards the end. And injury wise, get out okay or? Yeah, not too bad. Just, just, <laughs> he means the team, not you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think Noly's got a bang on his shin and um, Ty's got a, a bit of a tear in his quad but um, you know, hopefully they're not too bad. You know, they're not long term things so which, you know, Oh, they'll be coming out with a few bumps and bruises as well. It was just one of those games where both teams, you know, were very physical and Redcliffe were just as physical and they made it hard for us as well. But, um, you know, like I said, fortunately we were the team that managed to get the better of them in the end and have that little bit of class to get over the trial line as well. JD, is there, um, you've got a few road trips all this month to go and you've got a few away games already. Is, is there anything you're targeting over the next month or so? Oh, just, yeah. I, I still want our way form to get better. So as coaching staff, we're looking at ways that we can try to make that, um, you know, and it's difficult because you've, you've got the guys that come from cows and do they meet us away or do we train when we're away? And, um, you know, if you're having a regular side week to week, then it, it probably isn't too bad. But we've got two away games now coming up. You know, we've got Capras and then uh, win them away. And um, we need to pick up our, some wins on the road. Um, and if we do that, then come the halfway point, if, if we're sitting at the top of the table, then... Um, or even anywhere near it, we'll be really confident going to the second half of the season because five of our last six games are at home. Um, but, you know, that, they're all tough games though as well at home, so they're no easy wins, but it, we, it puts us in a place where we know we can, we can have a good charge for, for the top. And look, it, I'm not really looking at the table that much. Um, obviously, it's nice, it's good to stay at the top, but like I said to the boys, that, with that comes pressure. You know, every team you play wants to beat you. And Ipswich showed that last game, they raised their game to play against us and, and they, they had that little bit of extra fight in what they did and I think that's why we probably in the in the past have done well against Redcliffe because Redcliffe and notoriously have always been one of the big guns. Um, whether they're at the top, they'll be near the top so um, probably subconsciously we, we do raise our game against them um, but uh, we need to make sure that we have those standards again next week when we go to Capra's away because at home they're, they're proven to be a tough team to beat. Just the uh, little training session this morning, what was the reason why that just you boys just next little bit out with the Cowboys boys? Or? Um, no, it's something I've been thinking of for a while, but um, obviously the, the Cows boys had the uh, private memorial on Thursday for, for Alex, so um, that pushed us back a day, but it sort of let, fitted in with what I was thinking about doing anyway. And I just think on Thursday nights when we train, sometimes we're a bit flat, and that's because we have our second weight session, which is early morning starts on a Thursday, and it's get the back end of the week, and the boys are starting to tire a little bit. So I thought maybe if we, we have that Thursday night off, they get home a bit early, early at night to bed. And um, most blokes are Fridays, are, um, probably the bosses won't like me saying it, but a bit of an easier day at work. So um, it, it worked today. It's something that we'll probably look at again, but I probably need to speak to the players and see how they felt after the little... And it was, you know, we were on the trainer field for about half an hour, all told. But I think psychologically it works as well because it gets you focused on the game. And your mind isn't distracted by all the other things that can be going on around during the day, so it sort of gets you switched on from, from the morning time and gets you start thinking about your, your job. Sweet.